as I am, found himself in poor health conditions. A Monday morning, he was running a high fever. And that was enough reason for me to lose my mind and my patience. That day, a five kilometer long drive to the doc doctor's office felt like a five light year long drive. I remember myself being stuck in traffic and honking horrendously at people in front of me. Anyway, the doctor's visit did not go too well either. After listening to my father's symptoms, he was prescribed a never-ending list of urine and blood tests. And that flooded my mind with countless terrifying questions. The most important one being, is he going to be OK? To which the doctor replied with an obscure face, come back with the, the reports tomorrow. Tomorrow. That meant 24 hours of waiting patiently. 24 hours of not getting any sleep, 24 hours of filling my head with worst case scenarios. So without wasting any time, I rushed home and did my rigorous research on everything I could find on pale skin and pale eyes, nosebleeds, fevers, nausea, headaches. And after hours of putting two and two together, webmd.com lined up all these symptoms perfectly matching to that of leukemia, cancer of blood. I did not know how to feel. It was gut-wrenching for me to be open to the possibility that my father might have cancer. I had effectively managed to make my weight significantly slower and all the more stressful. I might have cried like a grown man too that night. But the following day, the following day was as satisfying as popping bubble wrap. Because the report suggested it was just inadequate production of red blood cells that was leading to all the disorders. In short, all he needed was one capsule once a day for one month. And ever since that day, I've practiced to be more patient. I wanted to be less impatient and more patient. So I tried different measures, measures like self-control, measures like mindfulness, measures like meditation. But to me, all of that was as useful as a video game to Helen Keller. <laughs> to me, it felt like being impatient was hardwired into me, just as profuse swearing habits are. To me, it felt like being impatient is an extension of who I am. And now I have to live my life with that tormenting truth that I will forever remain an impatient fool. <laughs>